Hi, I'm Kyle. I'm the Orchard and Farm Manager at Wilson's Orchard and Farms, and today we're talking about something not too pleasant, and that is an insect pest called thrips. So thrips is a group of insects, about 6,000 different species. They are very small, like one millimeter long, very weak flyers, and they just love to suck the juices out of all manner of plants. Um, I know Chili thrips can be uh, a problem on numerous different vegetable and fruit crops. There's a bunch of, of, of thrips that attack pears, especially out in the west coast. What we have identified getting at our strawberries this year is western flower thrips. So these small guys, uh, like I said, they're weak flowers and they can't overwinter here in Iowa. So on particularly hot and dry years where south winds are blowing up, these light insects can get carried hundreds of miles. I think they have documented uh, thrips being carried from Australia to the south uh, island of New Zealand. So they can be moved quite a distance. And in when conditions align right, they can come in at very devastating times and in very devastating numbers. It's not a problem every year. We've never really had a problem with thrips before. This is the first year I've seen it here. What makes it particularly challenging is they reproduce exceptionally quickly. So you can go from hardly noticing anything's there to having economically devastating amounts of damage pretty quickly. Eight days from egg to a reproductive adult. So populations can bloom quite quickly. And what they're doing on strawberries, they'll, they'll suck on the leaves a little bit and cer certain different species of thrips will attack the leaves more heavily. But these flower thrips, what they like to do is suck the juices out of open flowers. And they'll also uh, do the same on developing fruit. And what that does is it doesn't pre prevent pollination. It doesn't cause misshapen fruit, but it just kind of stunts the strawberries and, and bronzes them. You'll, you'll see this bronzing all over in between the seeds on the strawberry. Now, normally it's uh, it starts up around the, the stem here, but in a year like this, we the berry's almost completely covered with this thrips feeding. Bronzing on strawberries can also be caused by a couple other things, namely high UV radiation and heat, which we have experienced this year, but we have found thrips, so it may be a combination why we're getting such extensive, extensive bronzing here. So on a green fruit here, you can see that bronzing in between the seeds, and what happens as that berry colors is even though you can see it's this berry's perfectly ripe up at the top you can see it's it's red the rest of it fails to color and the because it's such extensive feeding we have a, a lot of cracking on this particular berry as well now i still find the flavor fine but it's really not appealing to customers certainly can't feel good about selling it to them yeah so if you here's one that maybe didn't have quite as much damage. So that would be like a fully ripe thrip damage strawberry. And here's what it's supposed to be look, look like. So really devastating. We, we can't really sell these berries. So when we see that, when you see bronzing starting to develop, like I said, the, there's several causes and high temperatures and high uh, solar radiation can cause bronzing as well. But if you're trying to figure it out, uh, one thing you can do is take flowers. Good practice is to take 10 flowers from all throughout your patch, take it in, maybe carry it in with a, a Ziploc bag, and then take the flowers out and kind of beat them against a white sheet of paper. And these guys, like I said, are at like a millimeter long. And once you shake them out, they scurry very fast. And if you have a hand lens, um, you can kind of uh, look up on the internet what they look like. And with a hand lens, you can really hone it in on what species. But generally, if it's one millimeter, you knock it out of flowers and it's scurrying around all over your head like a little yellow color. That is those thrips. So yeah, what to do when you get thrips. California Extension says if you have 10 thrips per flower, you, you might need to do something. Ohio State has it as few as two thrips for flour before needing to do something. And if you're at home, there's several organic products that you can get at the store, like uh, insecticidal soap or neem oil, um, but those will need to be frequently applied or else um, the thrips will just keep coming back. And like I said, they can reproduce so rapidly that they'll balloon pretty quickly. 
Yeah, first experience with it and it's not been good. We've lost quite a few of our early varieties. We are doing treatment with a uh, organic uh, insecticide uh, derived from a bacteria to try to knock it back. We'll see if that can save the later season ones, but yeah, those are thrips.